You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Ms. Rice feeling it. Make wow. it three for three. And see you Lino. See you later. Here's a chance for Sias, and then there's a shot and a goal. Will Spear will take it all the way. Touchdown, Seahawks. The extra look and the goal. A gorgeous goal by the We are live for the CHSAA AA quarterfinals featuring the Holy Cross Knights and the Bishop Lachlan Lions. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Maspeth Federal Savings. And a pleasant good evening, everybody. I'm John Perez. A battle of Brooklyn, Queens' is two finest, the Holy Cross Knights and the Bishop Lachlan Lions. And hello again, everybody. I'm John Perez. Let's meet the Holy Cross Knights who come in at 6 and 19 and Owen 16 and we will meet them after the national anthem So there is the anthem, and now let's get back to the show. Holy Cross comes into this game at 6-19. and 19. They didn't win a regular season league matchup. They went 0-16, but of course, as everyone knows, comes the postseason. Everybody is 0-0, zero and, zero, and it is a brand new season. Meanwhile, for Holy Cross, their journey was beating St. Peter's at St. Francis Prep on Friday the 25th. Then they knocked off Scanlon Thursday evening and now are matched up against the Lions, looking to get back to the semifinals for the first time in five years. Meanwhile, on the other side, Bishop Lachlan, they're 15 and 10 overall, nine and seven in divisional play, and they'll be led by Christian Jeffrey, the sophomore. Third team all league, averaging 13.6 points a game. He's a good deep ball threat, can attack the basket, and Bishop Lachlan, a team that's not very deep, they will rely on Jeffrey today. They only go about eight deep. Let's meet the starting lineup to the Holy Cross Knights, who will be led by Giovanni Germain, making the start over Devin Grant, who did not make today's game. He got stuck at a wedding, and then his flight got canceled. Ashton Tate, Christina, along with Tafari Plummer, Anthony Russo, and Tyler Castro. The head coach is Ray Cullinan in his 18th season out of out of St. Joe's Collegiate. Meanwhile, the starting lineup for Bishop Lachlan. Ja'Kai Sanders along with Christian Joe, Christian Jeffrey, Day Kaba, and Jareem Eason. Ed Gonzalez leads the way for the Lions out of Dowling College in his 13th season. Ed Gonzalez looking to get back to the final, and Lachlan, of course, over the years, a smattering of 
great Division I talent, along with the names of Javon Pinkston, Kadeen Carrington. You could throw in Keith Williams, Marquise Noel, and the Champagny twins as well, Justin and Julian. As the Lions and Knights will tip it off. And just a good day of hoops here at Hofstra as Hofstra taking over the responsibilities of hosting the quarterfinals this year, usually held at Fordham or St. John's. Of course, the final held at Fordham. And with these two teams coming from Brooklyn and Queens, have a good fan contingent that is in the building. Of course, Holy Cross on the east side of Queens and Bishop Lachlan coming all the way down from Fort Greene, but traveling out as Ed Gonzalez gets his team ready to go. Bishop Lachlan taking all three meetings against Holy Cross this year, and the Lions and Knights playing tough. All three games coming down to one or two possessions as it'll be Jermaine and Micaiah Moore to tip it off. And the Knights win the opening tip as it'll be Tyler Castro. Head coach Ray Cullinan says that he's one of the old school type players in undersized guard as the first pull up of the game is not knocked down by Jermaine. And it'll be Lachlan Ball. Ja'Kai Sanders operates on the wing and gets a screen for Moore. Joe with three. Can't splash it in, goes off the treetops and out of bounds. It'll be Holy Cross ball. Christian Joe, one of the leaders for Bishop Lachlan, the 6'1 senior. Can take it to the hole, can create his own shot. Somebody to keep an eye on for this evening. Number three in white. To the cup, Castro. And will stay with the Knights, 23 to shoot. Pull up three, Russo splashes it in. Russo's a senior. He was a player that as a freshman, sophomore year, Ray Cullinan knew that he could shoot it, was just too skinny and really couldn't create his own shot. Now as a senior, he's doing all of that, put on a little bit of mass as the jumper falls for Jareem Eason, who's been shooting the ball well. Jermaine, the pull-up jumper, good. Just inside the arc. And the Knights lead the Lions 5-2. to two. Taken away. Castro, the drop-off. Jermaine, another one? No, sir. Offensive rebound, Cha. As the Knights can't knock it down. Kai Sanders, fall away, air ball. Goes right to Russo. Christina, good fake, and banks it in. He is the glue guy for the Knights. What he does, and when he's playing well, what he does doesn't show up in the box score, but that jumper will. And keep an eye on him when the Knights are there defensively. Just like that, takes it away. Jermaine underneath, Castro. Russo fires a three. That's short. Gets his own rebound. 
Castro to the cup, rejected, but a foul. As that will go to Makaya Moore, his first. Well, they don't have the size advantage, and Castro not afraid to go down low to the trees. And two shots for Castro. One of the leaders of this night squad, but not a vocal leader. Leads by example. Colin instead he put on his hard hat when the team was going through it. And you know, just what a fantastic story Holy Cross has been as they now lead it by seven early on in the first quarter. They have just put it all together in the postseason. And Cullinan said, obviously, you don't want to go winless in your league. But the regular season's just for seedings, and there's the offensive foul. Jermaine drawing the charge. Driving baseline, Christina. And it'll stay with the Knights, 28 to shoot. Russo flips it in, Jermaine. Cha Castro, and Russo wants it more. Christina on the pump fake. Kicks it out, Jermaine, a three, bingo. What a start for the Knights. They lead by 10. As the triple reigns in. One thing Gonzalez said about his team is that they don't get overly emotional, they stay within the moment and nothing phases them, so. Keep an eye on the Lions to keep their composure, even though they're down 10 early. Sanders a three. Book it. So Ja'Kai Sanders nails the three. Gonzalez calls a quick 30-second timeout. As the Lions, a team that can shoot it from distance, and Ja'Kai Sanders knocks in the first three of the, after, of the evening for the Lions. Just give them some space and... He's able to knock it down. Averaging 15 and a half points a game. Lachlan needed that. But for Holy Cross. Out to a good start. Holy Cross, 12, Bishop Lachlan, 5. 3.59 remains in the first period. Christina to Jermaine. Castro tries to kick it out, but loses it on the pass. And the Lions will take over. Underneath, Kaba can't finish. Kaba, a lot of athleticism. 6'6 six, six, sophomore. Up ahead, rejection. More on Jermaine. Jeffrey to Joe. Offensive foul. Second charge drawn by the Knights. This time it's Trayvon Cha. Well, Lachlan looking to run. And Joe goes right into Cha.
Castro gets it back and an easy deuce. Castro, that hard-nosed competitor, showing out in the first quarter. Tapped in. That's Moore, the 6'9 junior. Gonzalez said he's gotten tougher and tougher every game. And there you see the SWAT. Jeffrey, the Euro step with the right. He finishes. And the Holy Cross lead down to five. Just over two minutes to play, opening quarter. Castro from Russo. Sloppy dribbling. Jermaine, pull up from 10 feet away is good. And Jermaine having a good first quarter. The other way, another rejection. This time it's Kaba. And a travel. Safari Plummer will come on. The physical, defensive-minded wing. Travis Castro, no relation to Tyler Castro, comes on as well. Providing good energy off the bench for Holy Cross. Who leads it by seven. Just over a minute and a half to play in the first. Joe thought about it, finds Jeffrey underneath for the deuce. Got past Travis Castro. And once again, the Knights lead is five and make it seven as it's banked in. It's Plummer. Pull up. And it's tapped in. How about Jeffrey, the athleticism? Ed Gonzalez saying that the only player that has grown at the level of Jeffrey has been Kadeen Carrington. That's a lot to say. One of the best Lachlan players in program history. They go to the floor. It's picked up. Joe. Sanders. A three. No good. As Travis Castro rips the board. Pressured in the backcourt. And he gets it across the timeline. Less than a second differential between game and shot clock. Castro doesn't get the screen that he wanted. Gives it to Travis to Tyler Castro. And his bounce pass underneath. Plummer blocked from behind. That's the fifth block of the quarter for the Lions. Jermaine, short, with a second left, that'll do it. Holy Cross comes out firing on all cylinders in the first quarter as they lead the Lions by five. We'll step aside. You're watching the CHSAA quarterfinals presented by Maspeth Federal Savings. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks. Know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Back here in on Long Island, excuse me, that's a city in me coming out, but it is on Long Island at Hofstra University. You're watching the CHSAA quarterfinals presented by Massmith Federal Savings, and let's take a look at the bracket and how we got 
to this point. Looking at the top portion of the bracket, Stepanak just knocked off St. Raymond, so they'll be playing Wednesday night against the winner of this matchup, Holy Cross and Lachlan. The Knights beating St. Peter's, then beating Scanlon, a very talented Scanlon team. It was very young. We saw them earlier on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Meanwhile, on the other side, Hayes will take on St. Francis Prep Wednesday night as well. As Lachlan takes the floor. Christian Jeffrey, Jareem Eason, along with Jaden Jaden Gamori, Day Kaba, and Christian Joe. What are the odds that you've got two Christians on the team and they both have first names? And it's not Christian Jeffries, it's Christian Jeffrey. And Christian Joe, which is short for Christian Joseph. Kaba loses it, but is fouled. Our officials tonight, Carlos Martinez, Oren Barfield, and Greg Cecile. And a late sub for Lachlan. Ticia Ramon will come on for Christian Jeffrey. Fourth matchup this season between these two. Lachlan has beat Holy Cross three times, and Cullen is saying this week in practice, since he knew he was going to play Lachlan as Kaba is fouled on the way up. It's tough to beat a team four times in a season, and we're seeing the difficulty, at least through the first quarter in chains. As Kaba knocks in the first one. Christian Jeffrey comes on for Christian Joe. So you've got the two Castros and you've got the two Christians in the Catholic League quarterfinals. Here's Russo. Has some Division Three interest, a few Cuniacs, along with St. Joe's on Long Island. Plummer, the fall away, no good. With some space, Rama in a three, splashes it in. And just like that, we're tied. Long three, Russo, no good. Russo not afraid to hoist. Though he shot that from Bayside. Nice feed, Kaba can't finish. Tapped back up and in. And a little flex afterwards. And the first lead of the evening for the Lions. Tyler Castro turns it over momentarily as Russo picks up the loose change. Travis Castro. And Kaba had a hand on it. Go out of bounds as the Lions will take over. Trayvon Cha will come on for the Knights, and Holy Cross will call a timeout as Cullinan has seen enough. As this will be a full timeout, but we can keep it here. Let's look at the CHSAA AA All-League team going from first to second and third All-League teams. You see on... At least the third team all league, Devin Grant, who is not in uniform for Holy Cross. Making that a, as well as two Lions, Ja'Kai Sanders and Christian Jeffrey. And these are two teams that, you know, they're not going to have the, the one or two names that stand out. Like an Ian Jackson, a Boogie Flan. Um, having said that, though, they come together, they play everybody tough, especially, and I'm talking about Holy Cross. 
which if you're just looking from a narrative standpoint, we know the Catholic League is good and the most famous league in the country, high school league in the country. But I, I can't remember a year where a team went winless in league play and makes it to a semifinal. Meanwhile, Lachlan on the midst of a 7-0 run. As Dream Eason hands it off to Jaden Gamori. Kaba flips it to the corner. Three ball up, no good by Eason, the 6'5 senior. But here's Jeffrey. He'll restart. Pull up from the elbow. Off the heel. And here comes Holy Cross with momentum. Off the timeout. Castro is fouled on the way up. As we take another look, that foul will go to Rahman. His first personal, and Castro is so tough to guard and not foul. As he will strut to the line, shooting two. Ray Cullinan calls him an old school type player, hard nosed, scrappy, gritty. Whatever adjective, it's SAT season. Castro's got it. Off the mark on the second. One point edge for Lachlan. Two minutes of change gone by second quarter. Another three, swirls in. Ticia Rahman. And Lachlan with a four point edge. Cha drives baseline, the floater off the side of the window. Castro, fresh possession, tries to force a pass and turns it over. Lachlan's got numbers. Kaba, too strong. And Thomas Collison rips the rebound. Pull up, no good from Russo. But Tyler Castro takes it away. With some space, Russo a three, bingo. Anthony Russo cans the tray, and we're back to a one-point game. It's his second three. He's got six as the Lions will walk it up. Jeffrey fires to Sanders. He'll let it go and put it in. Ja'Kai Sanders is only a sophomore but just put that up so nonchalantly as the three dropped. Castro fouled on the floor. As that will go to Ramon, uh, Raman, his second. And the 15th foul on the Lions. Christian Joe back on for the Lions. Makaya Moore on for the Lions. Kaba to the bench. Russo getting close to that five second count. Throws it into a lot of traffic and turns it over. It's a two on one. Jeffrey to the cup and off the window. A little kiss. The lead is six for the Lions. Collison. Working on Jeffrey, a whistle, and an offensive foul. Collison picks up his first. Eason, catch and shoot, that's good. Give the assist to Jeffrey. Eason knocks in his second jumper. He's got four. Deep ball, Russo, not that time. Offensive rebound, Castro. Swatted away by Eason. Jeffrey. It's 
The three on two, Jeffrey from Joe, no. And he's fouled on the second attempt. Let's watch Lachlan run again. As Collison called for it, and boy, Jeffrey just so strong down low. Gonzalo said that Jeffrey sometimes can just absorb the contact so effortlessly that he doesn't get fouls called against him. And that's the thing with Lachlan, if you've watched them over the years, I mean, they have grown men on the bench, at least when you see them, and then they get, you know, they have like 13, 14-year-old faces. So Jeffrey now with 10 points. And that's the lead right now for the Lions. Holy Cross needs a bucket. Christina, corner three. Doesn't fall. Jeffrey, Kaba, straight on three. Off the front lip. Here's Russo. Russo thought about it, hesitated. Jermaine, a three. That's good. Giovanni Germain tickles the twine. And the lead down to seven. The follow to Sean Long, not that time. Long comes in, though, and picks the pocket of Castro, who then gets it back, but nobody's home down low. As Cha goes to the corner, excuse me, Christina goes to the corner. Russo, fall away, that's good. Holy Cross making something out of nothing. And just like that, it's a five-point game. Two minutes to play in the half. Fall away three from Sanders, not that time. Rebounded by Cha. Cha loses the handle, finds its way to the corner. Russo, another three, no. And Gonzalez and the coaching staff telling Joe to slow it down. Good response by the Lions in the second quarter. Jeffrey to Joe, a three. Offensive rebound, Kaba then loses it. As Jermaine and Long go to the deck. And the Knights will take over with just over a minute to play. Jaden Gamori comes back on. Gamori getting the nickname Mr. Hustle by Ed Gonzalez. Christina, the kick out. Russo with three, splash. Here come the Knights. It's a two point game. He's got 11. Taken away, Christina. Doesn't have the numbers, is stripped, and it'll stay with the Knights, 31 to shoot. Eason comes back on for Kaba. The winner of this game will play Stepanak Wednesday night. Russo tied up, Gamori. And it'll stay with the Knights. Two seconds coming off the shot clock. And it's thrown away. Gamori's there. Mr. Hustle weaving through two defenders to the cup. And a blocking foul. He'll go to the line. 
Well, Gonzalez says he's got no problem grabbing rebounds against guys that are six, seven, and taller, and he's got no problem taking on the team's best offensive player. As Gamori goes to the line, a 5'9 senior. Hits his first. As Travis Castro will come on for Trayvon Cha. Second free throw, no good. Less than a second differential between game and shot clock. And Holy Cross can tie it with a three. But they take, they turn it over. Here's Eason ahead of the pack, and he lays it in. Five point edge for the Lions and ticking. Castro. With eight seconds to the cup, scoops it in. Four seconds to go. Sanders doesn't get it off, and that's that. Bishop Lachlan coming alive in the second quarter to take a three-point lead over Holy Cross going into the half. We'll wait to hear from Ed Gonzalez, but look at the defense by Bishop Lachlan as Eason is there to lay it in. As Bishop Lachlan putting it all together defensively and getting a good performance from the three-point shooting as well. Taisia Rahman hitting a couple of threes. As Gonzalez is getting set up right now, he'll throw on the headset. And coach, thanks for taking the time to talk to us at the half. Uh, seemed as if it was a half of two quarters. What adjustments did you make in the second half to succeed? Um, we just got to put pressure defensively. Um, that was our game plan going in, and um, we uh, missed a couple of assignments. Um, so uh, when we started doing that, and then as you see, they they they, uh, they missed a few more assignments, and, and the guy made some shots. But the, the game plan is to uh, put pressure on them, run the ball up, and uh, um, I think we should be okay and rebound the ball. I think your second unit came on and did pretty well too. Tysier hit a couple of threes. What can you say about your your bench coming on and performing well? Well, you know, they, they, they know that they, they're going to come in and, and, and give the guys uh, a breather, you know, and, and they just got to continue what the guys are doing. So, uh, you know, we, we pretty much seven, eight, you know, deep and stuff like that. So they, they know their, their roles, and I think that, you know, they, they would do that. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for the time. I'll let you get to the locker room. Thank you very That's much. That's Ed Appreciate Gonzalez uh, with his team leading by three at the half. And we'll step aside as well. The Lions over the Knights going into the third quarter on the Varsity Media Sports Network powered by Masmith Federal Savings. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network. The home for New York high school sports. Masmith Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks, know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? 
When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From stage preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd. We'll help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. Over the middle, he's got a man. It's complete. See you later. See you later. Going long, wide open. Perazzi, he gets it. Perazzi, foot raise, and five. Make it. Touchdown. Punch, power punch. The trickery rider gets it back. Goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! Just Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is going to take this in the other direction. Bank it! Touchdown! Touchdown, East! You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks, know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From stage preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. 
parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked... One half in the books. Lachlan with a 35-32 lead over Holy Cross. You're watching the CHSAA quarterfinals on the Varsity Media Sports Network presented by Massmith Federal Savings. Hello again, everybody. I'm John Perez. It was a really exciting first half, especially for Holy Cross, who got out of the gates firing, leading 18-13 after one. But Lachlan flipped the script as they lead it by three going into the third. Anthony Russo, though, leading the way for Holy Cross with his shooting and keeping the Knights in the game. Lachlan's largest lead was seven, and Russo doing a good job shooting didn't let Lachlan get it any higher. Meanwhile, on the other side, Christian Jeffrey, who we spotlighted in the open, he's got 10 points in the first half. He's been doing a really good job um, shooting it from deep as you look at the Lachlan lineup, and Jareem Eason has six points as well as Taisia Rahman, who came on, hit a couple of corner threes. Meanwhile, for Holy Cross, what also can be said about Giovanni Germain? He's got 10 points as well. Let's take a look at the CHSAA playoff bracket as we're 16 minutes away from completing it. Stepanak beating St. Raymond at the top portion of the bracket. They'll face the winner of this game, Holy Cross and Bishop Lachlan. Meanwhile, Cardinal Hayes putting an end to Christ the King season with a victory over the Royals and St. Francis Prep brushing aside Archbishop Malloy as we're still waiting for the times for Wednesday night, but one will be at 6, the other will be at 8, and we will have it on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Dylan Butler and I will be on the call. Should be a fun night, as this is always the best week of the year in the Catholic League. Quarterfinal leading to the final. Great storylines this year. And one of the more fascinating ones in this game, Holy Cross, who went 0-16 in league play, but are 3-0 in the postseason. Lions will have the first possession of the second half. Christian Jeffrey, Christian Joe. Jareem Eason, Ja'Kai Sanders, and Day Kaba on the floor for the Lions. Meanwhile, Tyler Castro, Trayvon Cha, Anthony Russo, Giovanni Germain, and Ashton Tate Christina as Joe lets it fly and bangs in the three. And a good start for the Lions as the lead goes back up to six. Joe was scoreless in the first half. As the two teams switch sides. Russo with three. He's fouled on the three, and he'll head to the line. And Sanders knew it. As we'll take another look, and boy, Russo just so slippery. Gets some space and gets the foul. Or draws the foul. And he will shoot three. Russo in the first game against Lachlan had 10 threes. Nine of them were early. But calling in very happy with his shot selection. Knocked down 10 of 15. As Lachlan took that one. Has some interest from Division Threes. He's a small guard, but definitely could progress if he decides to play at the Division Three level. Eason a three off the front lip. Jeffrey chases down the rebound in the corner. And a fresh possession for the Lions. Fall away by Sanders. No. Eason the offensive rebound. Sanders kicks it out. Micaiah Moore to the cup. And that'll be an offensive foul. That's the second charge drawn tonight. By Jermaine. First foul of the night for Kaba.
Castro. Cha. Quick hands. Kaba takes it away. Kaba to the cup. The Euro step. Floats it high off the glass and in. Lead is back to five for the Lions. And Lachlan locking down on defense. All alone. It's Sanders. Showtime. Ja'Kai Sanders with a two-handed flush ahead of the pack. And Lachlan matches its largest lead. Russo, corner three. Boy, did Holy Cross need that. Seventeen points for the marksman. Sanders will slow it down. Joe lets it go and knocks it in. Joe with six points in the second half. And Holy Cross turns it over. Good defense by Sanders as Russo coughs it up. Joe off the double screen to the corner. Sanders. To the cup. Joe, no, tapped in. Kaba. And now the largest lead for the Lions of nine. Let's see how Holy Cross responds. Castro and one. Tyler Castro, just a gutsy performance in the biggest game of the season for him. Eight points for Tyler Castro. As Micaiah Moore comes on for Lachlan. Off the mark on the free throw. Off the screen. Here's Sanders. Joe dumps it back to Jeffrey. Now Christian Joe hoist and hits. Lachlan up 10. Take it away. Kaba will lay it in. Thought about slamming it home. Cullen and seen enough as he'll call a timeout. Calm his team down. Look at Lachlan in the front court. Coming alive in the second half to lead it by 12. Full timeout, Holy Cross, and we'll take a timeout as well. You're watching the CHSAA AA quarterfinals presented by Maspeth Federal Savings. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks. Know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Back here at Hofstra, the Lions with a lead over the Knights of a Dozen with just over four minutes to play. And you're watching, of course, on the Varsity Media Sports Network. So while you're here on YouTube or wherever you're watching, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with your favorite high school team, Varsity Media, 
giving you the first rate coverage for you, your high school, and of course, all the student athletes' potential college careers. Be sure to visit varsitymedia.net as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel. And we'll be carrying the two semifinal matchups and the final of the CHSAA AA. As Tyler Castro, after the timeout, gets the bucket. Kaba to Jeffrey. Sanders tries to dump it towards Moore, and it gets taken away. Here's Tafari Plummer. Plummer tries to weave his way through traffic, and it'll stay with the Knights, 31 to shoot. Dropped into Christina. A triple threat position. Kicks it to Jermaine and finds its way to Russo. Castro matched up with the big. Kicks it to the corner. Christina, a three. Not that time. Christian Joe glides into the front court, dishes it back out. And then swings it to the wing. Good ball movement by the Lions. Kaba a three. That's good. He's got a Baker's dozen. And that's the lead right now for the Lions of 13. Under three to play in the third. The response. Holy cross. It's Jermaine. Well, now it just comes down to a defensive stand for the Knights. In the post, Kaba. And take it away. Here's Russo. That's a three, and that's good. That's his fifth three. You can't count out the Knights. Fighting their way back into this one. 13-point lead now down to seven. Jeffrey. Kaba corner three. Off the front lip. Offensive rebound more. Battling inside. He blows the layup. Russo. Slivers through two defenders. And now we'll hook it up top to Plummer. And a touch foul on Kaba. That'll be his second. Jaden Gamori comes on. As Sanders goes to the bench. He throws it away. Good hands. Joe tries to dish it towards Jeffrey. And they give it away. Here's Russo. Triggers a three. Can't splash it in. Ball tapped around. Plummer never secured it. They go to the floor. Castro. And a timeout taken by Holy Cross. And a good timeout at that. Let's take a look at that scramble again. These two teams, who wants it more? You see in transition, Russo hitting the three. As Holy Cross, once down 12, makes it a seven-point game. As Russo shooting is keeping the Knights in this one. And Holy Cross really making the most of their opportunity in the postseason. Russo flips it in, Plummer. 
Castro and Caba. And a touch foul on Caba, as that'll be his third. And the team's fifth. One thing about Holy Cross is they haven't committed a foul in the third quarter. Castro driving inside on Moore, can't finish the follow. It's Plummer. We've got a five point game. And it's number five, Jeffrey, to slow it down. Eason walled off to the wing. Ten to shoot. Whipped underneath. Jeffrey, he's fouled on the way up. First foul committed of the quarter for the Knights. And boy, Jeffrey just so tough down low. As Plummer picks it up. And one more coming up for Jeffrey. Ten points in the first, was held scoreless until that make. And one more. And he's got a dozen after he gets the friendly roll. Shot clock turned off. Holy Cross can hold for one. Plummer, not worrying about the shot clock. Throws it off the front lip. Second chance, no. Ten seconds to go in the third. And Gonzalez tells his team to hold for one. They've got to go, though. Four seconds. And a foul on the floor with 2.1. As that foul goes to Plummer. Number two for Plummer. Jeffrey, who just nailed a pair, back to the line. And business as usual, cool, calm, collected. He's hit his last three. Lead up to nine as Kashawn Long comes on for defense for the Lions. Plummer. Throwing the home run pass in triple coverage. Ball tapped around and taken away by Lachlan, and that is not good. Almost went down. But that'll do it. Three quarters in the books. The Lions with a nine-point lead over the Knights. Fourth quarter coming up. The winner plays Stepanak. You're watching the CHSAA AA quarterfinals presented by Maspeth Federal Savings. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Fourth quarter upcoming. Holy Cross. And Bishop Lachlan with the Lions leading the Knights. 59-50. Let's see if the Never Say Die Knights have one more run in them. Hands up, hands up. 
Christina almost turns it over. Corner three, Jermaine. Had a good first half, Jermaine. Shooting well from distance. In transition, Long can't tap it in, but Moore puts it through. And the lead back up to 11. And we'll get a whistle and Jermaine shaken up under the basket. As we see Jermaine, and he uh, looks as if he twisted his ankle. So Cullinan will go over to take a look. But as he gets taken over, let's, uh, let's take this one aside as well. Good to see him get up. But not really putting a lot of pressure on that ankle and he'll come off. Remember, this is a Holy Cross team that is playing without its leading scorer, Devin Grant. And now Jermaine, after twisting his ankle, will go to the trainer's table. Plummer with his back to the basket, gives it to Castro. And Christina. Tom Collison comes in for Jermaine as Plummer can't finish. And it'll stay with the Knights. Castro getting close to the five second count. Russo. Rejected Moore. The 6'9 junior with another rejection. With space, Gamori hits the side of the window on a three. Plummer to the cup, pass Moore, and he's fouled. As Tafari Plummer working hard on the interior. And always tough when you're going against the tower of Moore. For Moore, that's his third. And Plummer off the mark on the first one. One more upcoming for Plummer, the junior can be really disruptive defensively. That's what we've seen so far. As Cha comes on for the Knights. Moore, now working on the offensive end. He'll go to the line. Number two for Tate. And Micaiah Moore off the front lip. Ed Gonzalez said, quite frankly, he was really soft at the beginning of the year. But he's gotten better and better as the months have gone on. And you saw the defensive toughness come alive in this second half. And a big reason why Lachlan leads by 11. Castro, it eventually gets to Christina in the corner. Tom Collison over Moore, no good. Castro working hard on the offensive glass and gets the rebound and steps out of bounds. I checked that a foul on Castro instead. Number one for Castro. And the fourth for the Knights. Two 
Two minutes gone by in the fourth. Raman off on a three. Taken away by Moore. How about the job of Moore in the second half as Holy Cross gets it up ahead. Christina. Christina taking on two defenders. And he will head to the line. That ball almost went, well, the ball did go through the hoop on reverse. Obviously wouldn't have counted. And Christina knocks in the first one. As Christian Jeffrey comes back on, as well as Ja'Kai Sanders. Those two not getting a lot of playing time in the third quarter. Off on the second. Sanders throws it up. That's no good. And one and done go the Lions. Castro. Excuse me, Russo. No good. And time on the side of the Lions. Gonzalez telling his team, no need to rush. Get the open shot. Jeffrey, a lot of contact. There's more off the window and in. Kaya Moore now with seven points. Collison goes to Russo with three, rattles it in. Lead down to nine. That's his sixth triple. Jeffrey underneath, blocked from behind. Moore, though, converts. Collison to Castro. Matched up with Christian Joe. Russo and Sanders. Collison swings it to the corner. And Christina fouled on the way up. Number one for Jeffrey. As Makaya Moore goes to the bench and gets well-deserved high fives. And Christina dials in the first. As Collison will go back to the bench. And good to see Giovanni Germain, who gets taped up on that right ankle. We'll give it a go. Nine point game. And it's Sanders drawing the double team. As Joe goes to the deck, flipped in, Joe. Christian Joe coming alive in the second half. Ed Gonzalez calls a timeout. As Jeffrey took a spill, it was the other Christian Joe who knocked it in. Full timeout taken by Ed Gonzalez. We'll take a timeout as well. 4.03 to go in the fourth. Lachlan with an 11-point lead over the Knights on the Varsity Media Sports Network. With Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks, know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, 
You can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Halfway home in the fourth quarter with the Lions leading the Knights 68-57. You're watching the CHSAA quarterfinal presented by a Maspeth Federal Savings. Hello again, everybody. I'm John Perez. 4.03 to go in this one. The Knights, a team who went winless in league play, undefeated in postseason play, at least in the intersectionals. See if they've got one more miracle run, or if it's Lachlan, who will take on the winner, excuse me, who will take on Stepanak in the semifinal Wednesday night. And a turnover on the first possession for the Knights. Trayvon Cha comes on for the Knights. Underneath, that's Sanders, and he's fouled. Castro picks up his second, and here's Sanders. Off the heel on the first free throw. as Travis Castro comes on for Holy Cross. One more to go for Sanders. Can't flush it home. Good hands by Sanders as Eason will come on. For Kaba. Travis Castro working awfully close to the end line, but then converts. We almost had a five second called against him, and he gets the deuce. Nine point lead for the Lions. Eason and Sanders. And a kick ball. And a fresh 20 for the Lions. Fari Plummer and Trayvon Cha back on for the Knights. Sanders loses it, he'll stay with the Lions. As Raman collects the entry pass. Jeffrey banks it home. The Knights turn it over. And it's starting to get late for Holy Cross. Sanders. Operating on the wing. Up top is Raman. Tries to hook a pass down low, and Eason has to go off his fingertips. As Raman forced the pass. Travis Castro and Giovanni Germain back on for the Knights.
Castro. This is not once but twice. Let's see if Holy Cross thinks about fouling. There's Jeffrey. We'll kick it back out. This is Joe. Excuse me, Sanders with the emphatic slam. Ja'Kai Sanders elevates. Christina corner three. Can't knock it in. Under two minutes to play. Joe to Jeffries. Jeffrey to the cup and wide. Here's, Sander, uh, here's Joe again to Jeffrey, working hard to the cup. As Jermaine tried to draw the charge, but he'll be called for the block. And Jeffrey, who is a perfect six for six at the line, will look for lucky number seven. And gets three the old fashioned way. Fari Plummer back on for Holy Cross. 19 points for Christian Jeffrey. Travis Castro fall away, past Jeffrey, not that time. Eason. Jeffrey floats it up ahead. And Joe will curl it back out. Time on the side of Lachlan as they look to just salt this clock away. Second personal on Castro. And Holy Cross starting to empty the bench and that'll do it for Anthony Russo. As well as Travis Cha. As Christian Joe off on the first free throw. Tom Collison comes on and Sam Parada wearing number 31 in green comes on for the Knights. Final minute to play and looks like the clock's going to strike midnight on the Knights. And give them credit, fighting hard the entire way. But Bishop Lock on a team that couldn't be denied in the second half. As Collison off on the free throw, Kashawn Long. Now up ahead. And this is Nico Tafton. Can't finish. Castro gets the pump fake and the deuce. And a four-second differential between game and shot clock. This is Bryce McPherson who puts it in and gets the crowd into it. Off the fingertips of Travis Castro, and this should do it. Freddie Rojas also getting an appearance in this one as well. As Bishop Lachlan will... Wind it down. A tough first quarter for the Lions, but they'll go to the semifinal Wednesday night to take on Stepanak. A 77-61 final. Christian Jeffrey leads the way with 19 points for Bishop Lachlan as they win it. A 77-61 final. They knock off Holy Cross. They sweep the season series. They beat them four times this year. And credit to Ray Cullinan and his squad. They were undermanned today. Gave Lachlan their best, but at the end of the day, it's the Lions who come away victorious. So Christian Jeffrey will be making his way over to the booth as well. And we'll get Christian with the headset on and
getting them all set up. And Christian, congratulations Thank you. on the win. What did it take in the second half for you guys to get over the hump? Uh, it took that we had to like spark up on defense and not push the ball and then just and then just run our place. For you, 19 points, a perfect seven of seven at the free throw line, which I'm sure your coaches will be happy with that effort. But <laughs> yeah. what was working so well for you today? Uh, me, I was not really trying to shoot. I was getting to the basket because I'm stronger, so I was just trying to finish. You face a very talented Stepanak team in the next round. What are you guys going to have to do to get the victory? Uh, we're going to have to stay very disciplined, good team, and we got to play defense a lot. Christian Jeffrey, thanks for the time. Go celebrate. You're welcome. Thank you. Christian Jeffrey, our player of the game, getting the victory today for Bishop Lachlan, a 77-61 final. And that'll do it from a long day of hoops for our executive producer, Ben Turchin, the director, Chris Sweeney, and Ron Pierre, our camera person. This is John Perez saying so long as this has been a presentation of Varsity Media presented by Massmith Federal Savings. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports.